Hey guys, Jared back. So you got yourself a shiny new HTC One and you're wanting to unlock the bootloader and root it for obvious reasons. So let's go ahead and do that in the easiest way possible. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on the very first link in the description, which is gonna take you to this page here. Now this is actually where you can download the latest HTC driver to install onto your PC. So you'll notice down here that link I had highlighted. This is at the moment of this recording, which is, or not at this recording, I'm sorry, but the, this is the latest one updated on um, April the 23rd, 2013, actually right now it's the 29th. So anyways, uh, this will obviously be updated uh, over time. But anyways, you're gonna wanna download the latest one. Uh, in this instance, it's uh, version 4.1.0.001 and just download the .exe version, okay? Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and just double click on it and install it. It'll install all the drivers you need to and that way everything will just, uh, you know, work a whole lot smoother in the long run, okay? Once you've done that, go ahead to this page, which is the second link in the description. And first of all, big shout out to Hasoon2000 for creating this um, toolkit for us. He's the first one and the only one at the moment that has an all-in-one toolkit that will unlock our bootloader and root our devices for us. Uh, so thank you very much to him. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll on down here. You'll notice that in here it says install HTC drivers. Well, we just did that, all right? So you can go ahead and skip all the way down to the second post here and you'll notice we've got this highlighted. Go ahead and click on that particular link there and that'll take you to his dev host site, all right? Now once you're in here, you'll notice there's a couple of different variations of the toolkit for different carrier versions of the HTC One. So you've got one for the AT&T, the International M7, the Sprint, and T-Mobile HTC Ones. Now I'm in Canada and if you are too, if you're on Bell or Rogers or Telus, go ahead and download the HTC One AT&T toolkit version because that is what all Canadians use for any unlocking or routing methods on any devices here in Canada, it's always the AT&T method, okay? Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded that so I don't need to do that on camera right now. So once you've gone ahead and done that, you're gonna wanna locate where that file was. Now obviously you're gonna need an unzipper program like uh, WinZip or WinRAR, I always recommend WinRAR, WinRAR. It's, it's just much better. We're gonna go ahead and extract here and that'll quickly un extract a folder which has a bunch of stuff in it. Now once you have that, go ahead and just drag and drop it into your C drive, not in any particular folder, just the C drive, all right? Once you've done that, locate that file and double click on it. You'll notice we've got this icon here. Go ahead and double click that and that'll open up the program, okay? So this is where we're gonna start doing things. Now you'll notice here it says install HTC drivers. We've already done that, so you don't need to do that. The next thing it's gonna want you to do is register at HTC Dev. So if you click on highlight it and click on go, it'll give you a prompt. Um, he's being serious and I agree with him here. Make sure you use a valid email address when you register an account. So you click okay, it's gonna open up. Um, He's got a special link where it's gonna give him uh, money every time you visit advertisements. Now I'm running an ad blocker, so it's not gonna display, which is why you're just looking at a blank screen here. Top right-hand corner, which you might not be able to see at the moment, uh, no, you can't see at the moment. <laughs> um, anyways, it's going to give you a skip ad button. Just go ahead and click skip ad and it'll bring you in here and you can go ahead and register. Now I've already registered personally, so I don't need to do this, but make sure you enter a valid email address because it's gonna send you a link that you need to click on to verify your account. Now don't mess around because this is unlocking your bootloader, okay? So we'll go ahead and back out of there and we'll return it back to our program. And the next thing we're gonna wanna do is click on or highlight get token ID. Now from that point, you're gonna wanna go to your device, okay? And we're gonna want to go into settings, go all the way down to developer options. And in developer options, there's an option called USB debugging. Uh, let me see if I can, no, you can't see that because of the focus. Anyways, make sure that USB debugging is checked. That's very, very important, okay? Now once that is done and you've got that checked, go ahead and plug your device into your PC like so. And we are going to click on get token ID. Now what this is gonna do is bring up another prompt and some instructions, we'll click on OK. Now what's gonna happen is, and I'll show you, as soon as I click on OK, it's gonna actually boot my phone into the bootloader mode. And you can see this particular window here we're gonna keep our phone like this and this window open until we get into bootloader mode. Now that we're in here like that, as you can see, it's a bit of a different menu. Go ahead and click and close the first screen, which will bring up a second window, and this is our token identifier, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click on uh, select all, but we don't wanna highlight all of it. We just want from this particular part here, oops, not that part, 
this particular part there. So from the starting of the arrows, I'll go ahead and zoom in for you guys a little bit more. I'll pull this down here. All right. So from that particular moment or thing all the way down to that one there. Then we're just going to simply right click on it. And that'll actually temporarily copy it to our clipboard. So then what we're going to want to do is go back and we're going to go ahead and close that down and click on submit token ID. And that'll bring us to the submission page. Remember, hopefully you've entered the proper email address because once you submit your token, it's going to send you the further instructions to that particular email address. So I'll go ahead and click on skip ad like we did last time. Scroll all the way to the bottom and right click and click paste. All right, then we click submit. And as you can see here, it says token submitted successfully. You've been sent an email with your unlock key as a file attachment. Please review this email for further instructions and a link to complete the bootloader process. Alrighty, so here's the email that you received. So this one's obviously addressed to me. It says attached in this email is your unlock bootloader key file. To use this file to unlock your device, simply follow the remaining instructions on the website to complete the process and successfully unlock your bootloader. So what we can do, and you'll notice down here at the bottom, we've actually got a file. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And obviously you're going to want to pay attention to where that downloads to as well. And we're going to go ahead and click on this particular link to continue the process. Alrighty, so now we're on to this step, uh, which is 11, at least on the HTC dev site. It says you'll be sent the email with the attachment unlock bin, yada, yada, yada. Basically, we're, what we're going to do is you're going to take that file that you downloaded and from that email, and we're going to go ahead and drop it in our data. Now, I've already got it highlighted and copied to my clipboard, so I'm going to go ahead and click on paste and drop it into our, uh, into our data folder. All right, now once that's done, we're going to go ahead and come back here and click on unlock bootloader. And it says, here we go, locate your unlock bin. Make sure you are booted into bootloader. It must say fast boot USB. Make sure your USB cable is connected. Re HTC's warning, this will factory reset, wipe out your entire phone. Anything on the internal storage will be deleted. All right, so just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And we're gonna locate where that file was in our data folder that we just dropped it into. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our uh, C drive here, right here. And there's our unlock code right there, as you can see. And we're going to click OK. And we've got another message here. So once you've uh, got that message, uh, that window popped up, then on your phone here, you'll notice that we've got a new screen. It says, yes, unlock bootloader may void your warranty. And the other one is, no, do not unlock, uh, unlock my bootloader and restart phone. Now, this is the last chance you have to say, no, go back and back up any you know, uh, files that you have on your phone, you may want to throw on your computer, some pictures, videos, anything you have. Now, I've already gone ahead and done that. And so I'm going to use the volume rocker to scroll up and click the power button to click enter. And that will start the process. Alrighty, now we have an unlocked bootloader. All right, so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is obviously root the device. So we gotta push a custom recovery to our uh, HTC One. So um, I personally like TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project, but if you prefer Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, you can go ahead and do that if you like. So once your device reboots after the bootloader unlock, um, it'll be fresh. So you're still gonna to have to go through the setup and everything like that. Now, once you go through the setup, we're gonna go back into settings and we're going to go right back down to developer options and it won't have been checked. So you're gonna to wanna to jump into it again, click on for developer options, and we're gonna to wanna to check USB debugging, okay? So now that that's done, we go ahead, we highlight the recovery of our choice, press flash recovery, another prompt comes up, same kind of situation with unlocking the bootloader, um, where a uh, it says, uh, you know, make sure USB debugging is enabled, you will have two screens when your phone is in bootloader. Close uh, the first command prompt screen. A second screen will initiate and flash the recovery. So you'll see here that we're going to go ahead and press OK. The first screen pops up. And it'll put us into the bootloader mode right away. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and close that window down now. And the next one pops up and it's just gonna go ahead and connect with our phone and talk with it and do all that fancy stuff. And it's gone ahead and pushed the uh, custom recovery to our device. 
So now you can go ahead and close that screen on down. So now what we want to do is use our volume rockers and scroll on down to reboot and go ahead and click the, click the power button. And that'll go ahead and reboot your phone and just wait for that to fully reboot. Alrighty, so now we can go ahead and click on perm root and click run. And it says this will push Super SU to your phone. After it pushes it, it will reboot into recovery and flash it. If it doesn't reboot into recovery, reboot your phone and flash supersu.zip. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And it brings up this little window here. And we'll go ahead and click the uh, to close that particular command prompt down. And another window pops up. So now as you can see, it didn't work for me. So what we need to do is type in a little command in order to clear the cache. So give me a second and we'll go ahead and type that in. All right, so to erase that cache, what we need to do is go to our phone and turn it on, unlock it, press and hold the power button, jump into restart, and while it's restarting, hold the volume down button and that'll eventually put us back into the bootloader mode again. We'll wait for that to pop up in just a moment here, any moment. There it is. And you'll notice that we actually have the option fast boot. You'll, you'll want to make sure it's highlighted in the blue down there at the bottom there. And we'll just go ahead and click the power button and that puts us into fast boot mode. Now go ahead and put your phone down and we've still got this command prompt open and you've already gone ahead and press any key to continue so that we've got this sort of line here. What we're going to do is type in fast boot space erase space cache space C-A-C-H-E, okay? And then you're going to hit enter. And then as you can see here, it says that it's erased the cache. So then what we're going to do is type in fast boot space reboot and hit enter. Now while it's doing that, it's going to be rebooting your phone. Hold down the volume button again, the volume down button while it's rebooting so we can get back into the bootloader menu. All right, so now we're back into the bootloader menu. So right underneath where it says fast boot, it actually says recovery. So use your volume down rocker and go to recovery and click on the power button to enter into recovery. You'll notice up at the top there it says entering recovery. So we'll wait for that. Now that, 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 now that we're into recovery, you can go ahead and actually unplug it from your PC. All right, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and click the install button up there at the top. As you can see, we're in Team Win Recovery. And you're going to go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll notice that it did still actually push supersu.zip. So what we're going to do is click on that. Whoops, click on that. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to uh, push this file and install it? So you're going to just go ahead and swipe across to install it. And it starts installing it. And as you can see, it's successful. All right, so all you got to do now is just simply click on Reboot System. And then that should boot us right back into the home screen. All right, now that we've successfully rebooted, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on your uh, app tray there. And you can go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll notice, actually, that we've got Super SU installed, which is a really good sign. So uh, what we're going to do from there, actually, to verify that we actually have root is go into the Play Store. And you can just search for, let's see if I've got this in focus here, uh, root checker. And you'll notice this one from Joey Krim. Go ahead and download and install that one. Go ahead and open that bad boy up. Click agree and okay. Go ahead and click on verify root access grant it root access and you'll see right there congratulations this device has root access and that's it folks that's everything you're good to go you can now flash custom roms uh, custom kernels make backups all kinds of great stuff um, but as you can see <laughs> because of the uh, through the uh, bootloader unlock process um, everything's completely wiped so you kind of have to start from fresh unfortunately there is no other way around it um, I know this video is a little bit longer, uh, but the thing about HTC devices is that they're a pain in the butt to uh, unlock the bootloader and root. So um, compared to Samsung devices where they're just super easy and there's plenty of one-click 
unlock bootloader and root methods. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Uh, if it did, go ahead and click that likes button down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. There'll be all kinds of great uh, ROM and root related videos on the HTC One coming up in the future. So stay tuned for those. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.